Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice systems of equation here? Yeah. Let this be equation one and this be equation two. Now, from equation one, let's square both sides of the equation that is, we have root x plus root y all squared the equals to three squared. That is, here. Yeah. The expansion here follows from a plus b all square, which is same thing as a square plus b squared plus 2ab. That is, this becomes root x squared plus root y squared plus 2 times root x times root y which is equals to 3 squared 3 times 3 that's 9 from there that is from here square cancel square root here we have x plus also here square cancel square root y then here plus 2 here we can bring this together and we have root x times y here equals to 9 from here then we should recall from what we have in equation 2 root x y equals to 3 then we can substitute that here then we have x plus y plus 2 times 3 equals to 9 from here which implies we have x plus y plus 6 equals to 9 then taking 6 to this side we call minus so we have x plus y equals to 9 minus 6 which is 3 from there that is here yeah, let's leave this as equation 3 then also from equation 2 which is root x y equals to 3 we square both side again that is we have root x y squared then equals to 3 squared and here square also cancel square root here we have x y which is equals to 3 squared as 9 then from here let's make x the subject and divide both sides by y from here then it implies that here y cancel each other and we have x equals to 9 over y here so leave this as equation 4 then let's substitute equation 4 in equation 3 that is equation 3 then becomes 9 over y plus y equals to 3 from there that this will replace x as 9 over y then here we can multiply through by y to clear the fraction here that is here multiply through by y then what we have here becomes 9 then plus y square here which is equals to 3y from here then let's bring everything to one side and rearrange here we have y square then 3y comes here become minus 3y then plus 9 equals to 0 from here then here we have a quadratic equation whereby we have a equals to 1 b equals to minus 3 and c equals to 9 and from here using the formula y equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a then here we have y equals to minus minus 3 plus or minus square root of minus 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times 9 close brackets then over 2 times 1 from here. 
And when we solve this further, we have y equals to minus times minus plus, plus so we have 3 plus or minus square root of minus 3 squared as 9 and minus 36 here, then over 2. And which also we can write as y equals to 3 plus or minus root here. 9 is common and we have 9 to bracket 1 minus 4 here then over 2 which implies here we have y equals to 3 plus or minus root 9 times minus 3 here that is we can also y equals to 3 plus or minus root 9 here that's 3 then we have root 3 high from here over 2 which means we have a complex solution here which are the first one y1 equals to 3 plus 3 root 3 high over 2 and also and y2 equals to 3 minus 3 root 3 high then over 2 from here and here we can also find the corresponding value of x from the relation we have in equation 3 which is x equals to 9 over y so here x1 is now equals to 9 over y1 which is 3 plus 3 root 3 high over 2 from here that is of x1 equals to here is also 18 over 3 plus 3 root 3 high here and here we can rewrite this 3 is common here we factor it out we have x1 i equals to 18 over 3 into bracket 1 plus root 3 high from here that is here 3 goes here 1 3 goes here that's 6 and we have x1 equals to 6 over 1 plus root 3 high then in the same way we can get the corresponding value of x2 that is x2 here will be equals to 9 over y2 which is 3 minus 3 root 3 high over 2 and which also becomes x2 equals to 18 over 3 minus 3 root 3 high that is here we can also reduce it and we have x2 now equals to 6 over 1 minus root 3 high that is from here we have these two sets of solution x1 comma y1 and also x2 comma x2 and the value of x here we have it and then also the value of x here both are both two sets of solution are complex solutions and thank you for watching don't forget the steps subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on share this video and give it thumbs up and see you next class bye for now